Okay, now for part D. Now, part D of January 2016 IAL, um, question uh, mechanics and vectors. Um, it says, show that Q and, P will, Q and P will meet and find the time in which they meet. So we already uh, worked out something. Whoops. That didn't work, did it? We already worked out something. We already worked out what the vectors for P and Q are. So if I take this, this is for P, and this is for Q, and I copy, paste it down here. Okay, good. All right. So that's a vector for P and that's a vector for Q. We found that in part B and C of the question. Now, if they meet, okay, if they meet, then they will be at the same place at the same time. Okay? So the position vectors will be exactly the same, all right, at the same for the same value of T. So what we have to do is basically make these two things equal to each other. Their position vectors have to be equal. So um, if I have 5 and minus 3, plus t times 2 5 and I find out if that's going to be equal to 7 5 plus t times minus 3 minus 15 if I can prove that they're going to um, um, both be at the same place at the same time then I've proved that they're going to meet so if I can show that there's a value of t which will make these two things equal there's two sides equal. If there's one value of t which makes both of these sides equal, that will be the time at which they both are at the same place at the same time. So if I can prove, for if I make an equation, a pair of equations, 5 plus 2t, 5 plus 2t equals 7 minus 3t. Okay, if I solve that equation, I'm going to have 5t five, five is equal to, I'm going to have 7 minus 5 which is 2. Okay, I'll just do it in one step. 5t is equal to 2. So that means t is equal to 2 fifths, which is 0 0.4. Okay, and if I, if I find the same value of t in the second equation taken from the j components, minus 3 plus 5t equals 5 minus 15t. Let's bring the t's together. Um, we've got minus, I've got uh, 20t on this side, 5 plus 15t is equal to, and you've got 5 plus 3, which is 8. So t is equal to 8 over 20, which is equal to, the same thing, isn't it? Divide by 4, divide by 4, which is 2 over 5, which is 0 0.4. Okay, so we can say as... They are both equal when t equals 0 0.4. Therefore, they meet. And does it say at what time? Where are we gone? Find the time at which they meet. So it doesn't say they don't. It doesn't say how many hours after how many hours that they want the, the time okay and they they meet at and at the time okay you got 2 p.m. plus 0.4 hours okay so 0.4 hours in minutes is what it's 0.4 times 60 isn't it which is 24 minutes okay so they, they meet at the time to 40 p.m. Okay, they gave the time to us in terms of p.m. and a.m. Let's say p.m. So 2:40 p.m. That's the time they'll be. Okay, so you have to equate the two position vectors and find if you find that they if you if you equate them and you find the value of t for which they're equal, um, for which the i components are equal, and find the value of t for which the j components are equal. If those two times are the same, they're at the same place at the same time. Okay, at that time is that time you find is you know how many hours after the start time they will actually meet, which is the time will be 2:40 p.m. Okay, so that's the answer to that part of the question. 
Um, oh. Okay, so um, part E is actually pretty much uh, based on part D quite easily. It quite, it's quite easy to do. They've told us to find the position vector at the point at which they meet. So here we have, we know they meet when T equals 0 0.4. 0 0.4 hours, okay? So now what we can do is we can go back and take one of those two equations, either one. For example, let's take for P. That looks a bit of, a bit of an easy equation to deal with. So let's take this equation for P and copy and paste it down where we want it, down here. And the position vector at the point at which they meet will be when you substitute T equals 0 0.4 into this. So you can say that R equals... 5 and minus 3 plus 0 0.4 times 2 and 5. Okay, so you're going to have 5 plus, and you're going to have 2 times 0 0.4, which is 0 0.8. And you're going to have minus 3 plus, you're going to have 5 times 0 0.4, which is 2. Okay, which will give you 5.8 and 1. Okay, so you can say the position vector where they meet is going to be 5.8i plus and minus 1, sorry, that's a minus 1, isn't it? Because that's minus 3 plus 2. Be careful. Okay, so 5.8i minus j is the position vector where they'll meet. And there we have it. Okay, we could also find that we get the same answer if you want to check by using the second equation. And you don't have to do this, but if you want to just make sure as a check, you can actually take the second equation and see that you get the same answer using this because they're at the same place at the same time. So whichever position vector you use for at, two, at 0 0.4, t equals 0 0.4, they'll both be at that same position. So let's see if it works to make sure that we've got the right answer. So this we're going to put t equals 0 0.4. This is just as a check. You're going to have 7 um, plus 0 0.4 times minus 3. And you're going to have um, 5 plus uh, 0 0.4 times minus 15. Okay, so this will give you 7 minus 1.2, which is 5.8. And you're going to have 5 minus, now 15 times 4, 6, 6 so it's minus 6, so 5 minus 6, which is negative 1. Same answer. Okay, that's just a way to check. So this is the position vector out of the point at which they meet. And that's what the question asked. And that's the end of this question.